<laughs> oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, wait! Wait, I'm in F3! I can't! Dude, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. No! This is not funny! Stop laughing! Dude, this is not funny! Put up! Put, uh, make me not on fire! Fix me! Fix me! Oh god, I survived. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, put up a fire. Don't put it next to the wood. Oh, I couldn't figure out how to run correctly. Because I was in F... Like F five mode, so I couldn't like figure out how to go left or right to get out of the fire. Oh my, my gosh! Hurts. <laughs> oh, oh, panic attack. Okay, guys. What's going on, ladies and gents? I am joined by Mr. Gamer55561 for a brand new episode of Camp Quest. Thank you guys so very much for the absolutely... Whoa. How'd you just take that off? Oh, what it's, the heck? Uh... <laughs> what the heck? Dude, you just freaked me out. I didn't know that was possible. Actually, was I want to keep the jacket on. Dude, look at you all being like a fashion model. Okay, one run the walk the runway right here. Just like din, okay, din, 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 din. okay, go. Wait, 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 wait. We all need to get a look at this. Okay, go. Here we go. Oh wow. Oh, oh, is that is that the fall collection? Oh, oh. Actually, actually oh. no. Is that the no. fall collection? Because you're gonna fall! Oh. Oh, sorry. Okay, I that was supposed to be a joke, but I forgot that I have a sword. <laughs> Cause I had it on F1. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I really didn't mean that. Are you alive? God, you gave me a heart attack. <laughs> sorry, I meant to say the fall collection because you're going to fall, but then I didn't realize that I had a sword in hand. Ouch. Well, essentially, ladies and gents, first and foremost, thank you guys so very much for being absolutely spectacularly awesome with your support for episode one of Camp Quest. Before we get rock and rolling, if you don't know, <laughs> we do have some limitations that we each placed on one another. So, for example, I am not allowed to craft uh, swords pickaxes or furnaces whereas gamer is not allowed to craft gamer oh right this is where i i say what i'm not allowed to craft yeah uh bed flint and steel and chest plate there we go so we each have limits that we have placed on ourselves to make this whole series a lot more exciting and the other limitation that we both have to face is the fact that we are unable to use any other inventory except for what we can carry on our person so we cannot build out a home and like have it as a base so for example this even though it kind of looks like a base we got to leave this place so uh pack up your bags dude and let's get rocking it's raining man it's yeah, a it pretty rainy. rainy day out here man it's yeah, gonna it it's gonna totally rainy. stink trying to climb the mountain but before we Why? even head to the mountain because of the rain Rain's I love gonna rain. Make it all my favorite weather. Slippery and stuff. Rain's uh, my favorite but, weather. By the way, you know what I wanted to say, uh, wanted to say? since you have a pickaxe, mm -hmm. we need to get a flint and steel for sure. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'll work on getting the flint. You work on getting the steel. So let's make our way down the street. <laughs> That's fair. And then, <laughs> well, I think, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Where? What? That's what happened. Where? <sighs> Where are you? I I died. How? I don't know. What? Where are you? Uh, Buddy! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this has gone terribly wrong. Where are you? Seriously, did you actually I'm at die? I'm spawn. Yes. No, oh I'm kidding. Gosh. I'm lying to you. I Wait, actually which way didn't did we think go so. again? All right, I'll find you. Dun 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 dun. I'm just. Dun, I don't dun, remember dun, which way was. Uh, walk towards the mountain. The ginormous mountain. I don't remember where it is. Build up and look. Did you fall? Is that why? Yeah, like I hit your player and then I ended up falling. Oh wait, what? What do you mean? Like when I'm going player? down? Oh, okay. I ended up hitting your player. Why? Because I was going down at the same time and you stopped for some reason. And then uh, I hit your player and then I bounced off. Oh, really? Yeah. That's you do understand uh, that your player has a hitbox, right? You, well, I didn't know that that's how it works. Like in terms of like if one person's like climbing, the other person just gets like bumped off the Well, letters. I mean, that's what I think. What that I, seems I think dangerously unfair. I I'm, uh, I, I'm I trying I'm to find nearby. you, dude. I think I'm... Did you pick up my stuff? Oh, wait. Nope. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm heading back. I'm heading back. I didn't pick up your stuff. I don't know where you are. I'm looking for you, I do. though. 
I'm looking for I a name do. tag. Oh, I, I know where you are. Where are you, buddy? Oh, I went a little bit too far. Uh oh. Um, I'm I'm coming. All right. Well, I, I'll wait for you then by the tree that we were at. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. So I'll go back there because I left. I, I started building up to go find. Oh, uh, I see your name tag. Mm, or I just remember saw where. It. Oh, there you. Oh, uh, there, there you, you are. are. Hello. Ah. I didn't pick up your stuff, dude. I don't know where Is you fell. Uh, what? The tree's right there. Where? Over here, remember? On the ledge here? On the edge, I should say. Wait, where uh, is the tree? This one, no? Wasn't it this one? There's a skeleton. There's a skeleton, by the way. Oh, okay, run. Run away! Can Wait. you kill it? Because I need to grab um, this one. No, where? it's not this one. I thought it was this tree, no? Just look up. Do you see the platform uh, we built? Good point. Uh, can you help so me help gotta me before be... I die? Okay, run to me. Run to me, please. I Can you maybe run to me? <laughs> I'm trying. Where are you? Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure the tree's back here. Well, the tree has to be across from the mountain. Yeah, that yeah, that would make sense. Uh, Isn't it over here? This way? Like where you came from? I don't know. All right, I'm well, let me the just platform. go. I don't see the platform. What the heck? How did we do such a good job with disguising it? <laughs> was it further out? Was it like further out here? I think it was further out closer to Oh, the... there it is. I see it from here. There. Oh, I lost you, though. All right. Um, I have it. So just try to find my name tag. And Where is it, though? Is it like the direction I was heading in? I'm um, not sure. Oh, there's your stuff. I see it. I'll pick it up. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, so I have all your stuff. There we go. And now I have to find you again. Uh, I'm like right where you... Oh, there. Oh, Just there you are. There walk you are. forward. Okay. okay. So let's oh. walk towards the mountain, and then you'll get to working on getting some uh, steel, and I'll get to working. You see? That's what the rain does for you. It makes things uh, slippery. I told uh, you the rain would be a problem. <gasps> watermelon! I kind of need... Okay, wait. I kind of... I can't... Uh, watermelon. Uh, I kind of need my stuff. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, you're like, you'll get that, to work on that. I'm like, that, uh... That that i'm pretty sure that was yours that was yours that was yours uh that was yours this is yours that's yours that's yours and have a little bit of watermelon you're welcome oh uh, yeah for uh workbench workbench oh yeah sorry i have two by mistake there oh sorry okay went way further than i meant um, all, all right. right so in order to oh, find you also have three of my apples but it's okay it's okay Oh, yeah, here you go. I just, because I need some food, that's all. There. I've been running around a lot. So, what anyway. I need to look for is flint. So, that is my priority, uh, number one. Uh, where do you think I'm going to find see. iron, dude? Do you possibly have, well, dig into the mountain. You'll probably find some. Do you possibly have a spare piece of cobble? Or maybe dig one up for me if you could? Because I do not have a pickaxe. Oh, you don't? No. I gave one to you at the end of the last episode. Oh, I gave it right back to you. Oh, no, wait. I do have a pickaxe. You're right. Yeah, I gave it to you at ah, the end yeah, of the yeah. last episode. Okay, I messed up. You're right. All right. You're absolutely right. The there we go. We found some coal, though, so that's good. All right, wait. So then I could help you get the iron because I have a pickaxe. Yeah. So that would be great. All right. Let me just get flint first, and then after that, I'll come assist you. With the with flint, though, you the... need to find gravel. Yeah, I found gravel. Oh, I did not know that. Right out here. But hopefully this water from the rain doesn't make it all, like, super lumpy. And then I can't get flint out of it. How many flint do we need for flint and steel? Just one, right? One. Yes, got it. That's it. Flint taken care of, dude. Flint taken hey. care of. So, uh, by the way, guys, we will be telling a spooky story at the end of this episode. So that will be a whole bunch of fun. Uh, once we scale the mountain, we'll set up a little campsite with, like, a little fire and everything. And I uh, wish we could build, like, tents. I think they should introduce tents into Minecraft. Oh, that would be so cool. I'd love that. Uh, are we too uh, high? I'm I'm digging down, so I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. One of us will find it. Hopefully, we just need one piece of iron, right? Just yep. one tiny little piece of iron. Do you have a uh, possibly a torch? Because it's getting yep. a little bit too uncomfortably dark down here. It's right behind you. You should have picked it up. Oh, whoops! Coming back. You should have picked it up. <clears throat> oh yeah, there we All go. All right, got it. Thank you. You got. Oh, I thought you got iron. I was like, what? Oh. Uh, whoa, whoa, what, 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 silverfish. Where? Down here? By me. Okay. Did you survive the encounter? Oh, that's dumb. What? It, it eats up your pickaxe. Another silverfish? Be careful. Wait, are we next to a stronghold? 
that would be very, very, very weird. <laughs> if we find a stronghold like super fast like this, that would that be would terrifying. Be awkward. Yeah. Um. So I'm not having any luck with finding anything to the point where my pickaxe just broke. So you uh, gotta come down to me. Yeah, I'm coming back. Oh man, that really stinks. I thought Found we would find it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even finish the sentence, but I was excited already. Nice. <laughs> right. I was. You're like, we can't even find. Found it. Smelt it <laughs> and make your way up. Yeah. And well, then make my way up and then smelt it. Yeah, or smelt it down there. Or whatever. should we? Oh, or or uh, I'm thinking that what we could do is we could go <gasps> to scale the mountain. I'm not cosplaying as a train. There's just a <laughs> there's a creeper out here. Oh. Oh really? Because I was thought you were cosplaying as a train. Okay, here we go. Uh... Okay, so I decided. For the group. Come on. I've decided. Yes. Oh, sorry. I had to defeat the creeper. Yeah. I okay. have decided for the group. Yes. That we shall scale the mountain and then we'll smelt it at the base. Or okay. at our little campsite. Um, I have trouble here in the form of a ginormous black spider. Okay. Oh, got him. All right. Let's scale the mountain. All right. Let me grab this. Do not want to leave this behind. And let's scale the mountain. Wait, are you serious? Oh, okay. I thought that those dots there were was iron. I was like, are you serious? We could have just looked up and we had iron all along. <laughs> all yep. right. Here we go, dude. Let's build it up. All right. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here. We're scaling this thing. And you're gonna, we're going to come over here and scale this way. Look at this behemoth. Hey, what's up, dude? Look up. Hey. Hey, buddy. Uh, hey. What? <laughs> How did you? <laughs> I used Wait, what? Blocks. <laughs> Wait, oh, you just built up? Yeah, I just built up using a couple oh, of Oh, I'm trying to actually scale it like a proper... I, I am scaling it like a prop, Like a proper what? Mountaineer? <laughs> yeah, like a proper mountaineer. Well, you... Oh, oh. Uh oh careful. <laughs> yeah, be careful not to get a mountaineer. Okay, wait. <laughs> All right, see you, buddy. Oh, my gosh, that was scary. I just didn't want to, like, over jump, so I was terrified to actually take the risk to go for it. Oh, creeper up here. Oh. Well, there's a lot more than just a creeper. Ho, ho! Dang it! <laughs> Dude, did you just explode in front of me? We didn't even start the scary part yet! <laughs> what were you thinking? Wait, can I just TP to you? <laughs> yes! But dude, uh, that is ridiculous! Because now what? I'm getting attacked by- Oh my gosh, dude! That was really, really, really bad! I don't have permissions. Right, oh, right. No. I don't have permission. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Can you do it? I can't. I'm fighting a skeleton. It's okay. Let the skeleton... No, I have to defeat him. I have to defeat there. him. I will defeat him. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> I think I can. Come oh. on. There we go. Ooh, okay, skeleton right. defeated. All right. Let me let me go ahead and send uh, teleport you over here. How do I do that? A slash TP. Over it. I have it. My goodness. Okay. Wait. Uh, there's a zombie. All right, uh, take your stuff, but uh, I'm gonna keep the wooden pickaxe. I deserve it after all I've done. All I've oh, managed. you can have the wooden pickaxe. Um, I think these sticks were yours. One of the crafting yeah, tables was yours. I'm guessing that this cobblestone is yours. Uh, oh. some, there was some wood that was mine, but did I not give you? Oh wait, no, yeah, like jungle planks. planks. But... There we go. That is yours too. That is yours. That is yours. I don't okay. remember having any Well, let's place. at least make a little cozy right. base. Ooh, like a quick, cozy okay, little base. first of all, let me just build up a little bit of a defense. Like, keep the snow. I love the snow. The snow should should still remain. Oh. Okay, yeah, dig, dig into it. Yeah, dig out this cobble. And then what we'll do is... I, I know. I know what we'll do. I'll just build up like this. Whoops. Oh, I was thinking we can just do this. Okay. Er do you have an axe? I oh, know. I need to place down the... Uh, okay, axe. dude. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, whoops. Can you break that cobble? I'm, like, building all over the place. Yeah. Dude, are you ready? Are you ready right now? You know mm -hmm. what time it is, right? It's time for the spooky stories, ladies and gents. That is what we'll be doing next. All right. So, uh, there's the flint. Let's get a fire going in the middle oh, here. right, right. You can grab some food. Do you have food? So you could eat something? Uh, I... Nah, no. Okay, I'll give you a piece of pork chop there. All right, so you. who who wants to go first? You want to go first? Uh, no, you can go first. Are you sure? Uh, Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want me to go first? All right. Put a fire right here. Light up the uh, thing. Did you make a flint Where? of steel? Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, just like light up the wooden plank. Yeah, but it's gonna spread. It's okay. Wait, here, there, light that up. That it's one. still gonna spread. That's but okay. okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. What? <laughs> Okay, that was very anticlimactic. Can we do that again? <laughs> Hold on. Can, can we do that again? Except actually longer fire time. Oh, there we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the spooktacular stories. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and think. Well, first of all, we're on fire. We're gonna oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, wait. Wait, I'm an F3. I can't. Dude, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. No, this is not funny. Stop laughing. Dude, this is not funny. Put out, put, uh, make me not on fire. Fix me. Fix me. Oh, God, I survived. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, put up a fire. Don't put it next to the wood. Oh, I couldn't figure out how to run correctly because I was in F. Like F five mode, so I couldn't like figure out how to go left or right to get out of the fire. Oh my, my gosh! Hurts. <laughs> oh, oh, panic attack. Okay, guys, that was not the spooky story yet. Just wanted to warn you guys. There will, well, even though that was a pretty spooky situation. Okay. Uh, Put the time to night time. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna I'm fix this. <laughs> time set night. All oh. right, ladies and gentlemen, the sun is coming down. Gamer has got a nice little up. fire for us. He's got a nice in little a fire for Or he will have a nice little fire oh for us. Oh, my God. And I haven't had a laugh that good in a while. Thank that's you, Max. Right. <laughs> that's right. Ladies and gents, here is the spectacular story. So the stories we have taken. Now, I've heard the story before, but I didn't remember the full story. So I ended up Googling it and found it on a website like scary stories for kids or something like that dot com or something along those lines. Same uh, as mine. Yeah, so we'll have a link to them just like for credit's uh, sake. But here's the story, ladies and gentlemen. So the story begins with two ghosts. Two ghosts that are just conversing with one another, right? There's one ghost, ghost number one, and ghost two. The fire's out. Uh, just keep resetting it if you can. And essentially, ghost number one is telling ghost number two, Hey, how'd you die? What happened to you, dude? And ghost number two says, Well, you know... I, uh, I ended up dying because uh, I got trapped inside of a refrigerator. And uh, once I climbed in, there was no handle to get out. So I froze. And I froze. And slowly but surely, as the warmth of my body died down, I just simply froze to death. So it was painless. But I did freeze to death. And uh, it was a very unfortunate uh, accident, so to speak. What about you? How did you die? Ghost number two asks ghost number one. And ghost number one proceeds to say... Well, I died um, from a heart attack because I was overweight, I was uh, overeating, my arteries were clogged, and uh, that's what caused the, the heart attack. Wait, so you died from the heart attack? Well, not really. Essentially what happened was I wasted so much energy after I had anticipated that my wife was cheating on me. And I came home one time. And I thought that I finally caught them because I found the shoes of another man on the entrance door. So I ran upstairs. I rushed upstairs. I ran into the bedroom. And there she was. But no man to be found. So I started searching everywhere, running around the house, checking every possible place. I looked in the closet. I looked in the garage. I looked underneath the bed. I checked every possible place that I could. And then suddenly, this spiked pain in my chest. And I just couldn't bear it. I had experienced a heart attack, fell over. And passed away. Second ghost wow. is listening to him. The second ghost is listening. And then he just vehemently screams out. Dude, why didn't you check the refrigerator? That's a good story. And that's the story, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now that part, that's the part where game we're supposed to laugh, but... <laughs> I'm but, trying but, but, to hold it in because it's supposed to be a scary no, story. No, it's supposed to be a funny story. It's supposed to be funny at the end there because think about it. He, the <laughs> no, guy, I get it. The guy I passed it, away but... in the fridge. <laughs> Do you not get it? It's hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> no, it is funny. It is funny. I actually was laughing. Okay, that's good. All, All right, right, gamer. Here we go. Tell uh, us your spooky story. We don't need this much uh, fire. I feel like our flint and steel is going to run out. We just need one oh, square. Yeah, yeah. Just do one at a time. Yeah, yeah okay. go. I just hope I don't set myself on fire from stick. Okay. All right. Tell us the Miranda's, story. 
Miranda's a babysitter <gasps> who was hired to take care of a little girl named Daniela. Oh my. When her parents leave, Daniela oh brings Miranda up to her bedroom oh to, no. show off, to show off her doll collection. Okay. All of the dolls are kept in a glass case under lock and key. Creepy. Wow, these are beautiful dolls, says Miranda. Uh oh. They're not to play with, Daniela replies. When one of the dolls falls over, Miranda goes to fix uh, goes to the case to fix it. But Daniela stops her. Oh no. I'll do it, says the little girl. You have to be really careful with them. Oh no. However, when Daniela unlocks the case and puts her hand inside, she lets out a squeal. Whoa. She bit me, she cries. Whoa. She, she couldn't bite you, Daniela, the babysitter, babysitter says. She's just a doll. Daniela, Daniela's finger is bleeding, so they go downstairs to get some tissues. Miranda makes two mugs of hot chocolate while Daniela tells her all about the dolls. Delicious. Katie loves chocolate. Angie's afraid of water. Jenny likes to watch TV. And Shelly isn't afraid of anything. Wow, your dolls sound like fun, says Miranda. Sometimes, Daniela replies, sometimes they aren't. Whoa. Daniela runs upstairs to get a board game. Gosh. Seconds later, Miranda hears a scream and races upstairs to see what's wrong. Oh no. It's Shelly, Daniela cries. She's gone. She's gone out of the case. It's all your fault. You left the key in... Uh, key in the lock. What was that pause? The lock? Is that in the story? Shh. Oh, okay. They try Shh. to lock the case, but okay. the key is missing. Mm -hmm. I bet Shelly took it, says Daniela. Whoa. Miranda decides to humor the girl, the no young way. girl, so they search the house for Shelly. They hear a noise. They run down to the kitchen. They find a mug of hot chocolate lying broken on the floor. Dude! Miranda says, Daniela, if she is doing all this to get... Uh, she, Miranda asks Daniela if she's doing all this to get attention. I didn't break anything, the little girl protests. Shelly. Uh, Shelly did. I told you she's mad and I don't know why. Eventually, they find Shelly lying on the kitchen floor. But when they take the doll upstairs, they find the case is empty. Whoa. Is that the end of the story? No, I just wanted there to be a dramatic pause. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting you to scream or something. It scared the heck out of me. Okay. <laughs> and? Oh, no, cries Daniela. They all got out. They never, uh, they never all got out before. Miranda doesn't believe the little girl's story. Daniela, where are they, she demands. Tell me what you did with the dolls. I didn't do anything with them, Daniela whines. Shelly let them out. We have to find them before they do something. When they go downstairs, they are horrified to find all the dolls sitting in the living room, perched on the couches and chairs. Miranda has had enough. I'm phoning your parents, she says. She picks up the phone and dials the number, but then realizes that she, the phone lines have been cut. Dude, well, use a cell phone! When she tries her mobile phone, she finds the battery is missing. Whoa. On the fridge spelled out with a magnet, she finds a message that reads, Leave. Oh my gosh! Okay, this is getting spooktacular. For Miranda, it's the final straw. Shelly, I don't know what you and your freaky little friends are up to, she shouts, but I'm taking Danielle and getting out of this horror movie. Before she can say another word, something trips o her over. She falls down the stairs and is knocked unconscious. Dude! When she wakes, this is when spooky. She wakes, what the when heck? she wakes up, the dolls are dragging her by the hair. What the, the heck? Door. This is Mar terrifying. Miranda fights them off and manages to escape. She runs upstairs and finds Daniela hiding in her closet, trembling with fear. Miranda hides in the closet too and racks her brain trying to figure out how they can get away. The dolls start banging on the closet door, trying to break it down. Daniela accidentally drops her purse when Miranda looks inside. She finds several driver's license, all of them belonging to young women. Shelley, what the heck? Daniela, Angie, Jenny, dude, I've got goosebumps. I'm getting scared. Daniela begins to cry. Don't be mad, she says. What did you do? The Miranda whispers. They said they were all my friends. Were my friends? The little girl whines. I begged them to stay, but they wouldn't. They left me. They forgot about me. Oh God! Miranda gasps. The dolls weren't trying to hurt you. They were trying to warn me to get away from you. <gasps> bum, bum, escape, bum. But Daniela grabs her by the arm and holds tight, shouting, "Don't leave!" Let me go, Miranda screams, but her face is already beginning to change. Later that night, when the parents come home, they find Daniela alone in the house. Miranda is nowhere to be seen. Their father calls the babysitting agency to complain. This is the third time a babysitter from your agency has walked out, he yells. Daniela goes upstairs to her bedroom and tells her dolls that they're all grounded forever because they were so bad. Then she places a new doll in the case and locks the door. This is your new friend, she says. Her name is Miranda. Now you be all, eh, now you all be nice to her. What the heck? Dude, you really went out and got like a super spectacular story. Stay away from me. Stay away from me, you scary, <laughs> you, you scary monster, you. 
Well, um, so uh, we hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Camp Quest and weren't petrified like I was. Uh, Gamer apparently has some really spooky stories that he's well uh, aware of <laughs> that I did not even know. I never thought he knew such spooktacular stories, but uh, I guess there you go. Wow. Okay, we're getting attacked. <laughs> We are getting attacked. Okay. Um, I'm trying to survive this. But uh, nonetheless, ladies and gents, of course, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Camp Quest and you want to see it continue into the future, please don't forget to leave a like. We will catch you guys next time as we continue our spectacular survival, survival side of things in camp. Peace out, guys. We'll see you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone. See ya. Did you just later. do some noise like, like that? No. Dude, you're freaking me out!